Right, so this is a super quick one while I've got five minutes. Um, I am preparing for an event and I have books of different sizes. So I've got 4.25 by 7 inch. Now I've got Bluetooth and the World Wide Web in that size and then I've got No Within the Art Suicide and No Within the Art of Conception. So I've got two in the series. Um, and these are an unusual size for a paperback but I got this, this done in a, this kid's book done. Um, in this side because I thought it was nice and sort of school bag handbag size so parents can just pop it in um, and I prefer this size to be honest for this particular book and then I've got the Noah Finn books in that because they are novellas and not novels so obviously I want I didn't want a tall thin um, A5 when I could have had a, a slightly thicker nicer looking smaller one so I got them now on the run up to the events i've got i've got these and these are a 50 pack of a6 self seal bags and these were two quid from the works now i got these because when somebody buys a book from me i like i think presentation is a really important thing especially when it's a signed copy um or a gift so when um when somebody buys from me hopefully at the weekend Oh no, that's a problem. Um, not people buying from me, that's not the problem. The problem I've just seen is this. Um, but when somebody buys from me, I am hoping then that I can offer to gift wrap it or offer to you know put it in a protective sleeve until they get home. Now I got these thinking, oh, it'll fit. But what I've just realized is that whilst it does fit, it won't close, it sticks out at the top. So what, um, Think I'll have to do is <clears throat> use those as the gift bags for the gift little gifts the little extra sets so um the I don't think I've got a bookmark to hand which is unusual for me because I have bookmarks scattered all over the place um but I think what I'll probably do is I'll put the bookmark and the extras in and the stickers and things like that in these and then I'll fold it over and that can go in the bag so thankfully it's not the end of the world because <laughs> Um, see if I can put that back in there without crinkling it for two pound it were worth a shot wasn't it so for two pound I also got the A5 ones now I believe from already doing this that my A5 thinner books do actually fit in these so let's just try aha right so these fit perfectly um the a5 ones are great for the five by eights because you've got i don't know if you can see on here but you've got a little bit of extra leeway here and then enough for that to tuck over and that to fold down and then these have got like a peel on the top and you just fold them over so the a5 ones are perfect now the thing that i wanted to try this is aeon infinitum run for your life it's about the same size as elemental ascension which is my new one uh, maybe a little bit smaller I think elemental is about 300 pages this is 250 summer um, so that fits in but the test is whether the beast fits in finding Pandora the complete collection now there's four novels in this and it is 621 pages so the test will be size wise width wise it will fit but because it's such a thick book i don't think that's gonna fit i think i'm gonna struggle but oh maybe not it's a beast it's a beast but it does now see if i stick that that's going to ruin the pages so the problem with that is it's too thick for that to fold and stick to what's left on here which is not very much because of the thickness of the book so what i'm going to have to do is when i fold that down and pull it over rather than use the peely sticky thing is i'll just pop one of my curious cat books logo stickers on to hold it or i will fold it at the edges there i'll pop a sticker on the top and a little bit of washi tape or something i've got some cat washi tape so they do fit it will protect a book as in you know to get it home without getting it scratched or anything but for a, a gift or whatever it might not look great which is a shame but i have some bigger ones upstairs that um 
in my office that I think will fit, but they are meant for comic books. So they're actually for A4, so they'll be too big. But if I put all of the extra goodies in with it, it will look more like a gift set than it would just a protective cover. So I think I'll probably do that for Pandora. But yeah, that was my thinking anyway, because I like the... I like the idea that when you purchase something from the author, you don't just get it signed and then sort of thrown at you. No, thanks, right, yeah, enjoy. I'd rather it be a discussion, you know, what do you like to read while I'm signing? Who am I signing it for? You know, would you like some extra goodies with it? And then the idea is that they get it signed and personalised. They get the signed by the author sticker on the front. Um, and then it goes in the protective bag. It gets sealed a sticker goes on it, you know, like a thank you sticker or whatever, and then they get some little goodies and then they get a little gift bag to put it in to take it away with. So it's an experience meeting an author and getting to read the book. And I want it to be something that people remember. And then when they enjoy the book, hopefully, they'll remember me and they'll remember the experience as a whole and they'll therefore want to buy from me again in the future. So that's something that as an author is really, really important to me, the experience of meeting me and getting to hear how I came up with it, but also to take something away that not only you're looking forward to reading because it looks good on, on the cover and it sounds good, but because it's actually the actual experience of buying it and the display of it and the extras that you get in it and kind of like the overall presentation is just stunning and nothing like they've ever seen from any other authors. So my job, over the next few days before the event is to go through the stock I've got because I've ordered some more stock and that's coming hopefully before the event. Um, I've got lots of Elemental Ascension. I will have about five copies of Aeon, about five copies of Pandora. Um, I've got plenty of Bluetooth and I will have five copies of Noah 1 and 2, I think. Um, and I might even have a few copies of my non-fiction book, maybe, if I can have a look through my stock. Um, but yeah, it's really, I think what I'll be doing then is thinking, okay, how much have I got stock-wise? What can I do with them? It's a summer fair that I'm attending, so it won't be for like Christmas gifts or anything unless people are really, really well planned. Um, so what my plan is, is to put some nice little sets together, some nice little collections together, give people an option to, you know, benefit um price wise from buying more than one book so if you buy you know this copy and this copy you'll save x amount of money if you buy this series you'll get you know x discount or whatever um and then just try and sort of meet people's needs that way as well so if you're going to come and see me this weekend um i will be at the snoop summer fair um it's a charity and they've got like um an indoor outdoor fair going on i'm hoping i'll be inside just because if the weather does go the wrong way I'm, i've got books i don't want them to get wet so if you come in to look for me i will hopefully be inside um and yeah come and speak to me about what you like to read i'd love to meet you and hear all about your favorite books and hopefully if you've not yet read anything of mine or if you're looking for the newest one i'll be able to sort you out with that as well i'm only taking the elemental paperbacks i just have the one hardback left and i mean i can take it but if it goes It'll, it's literally just one copy so I won't be able to then supply any so it won't be on my price list um, but if you are looking specifically for the hardback and you meet me ask me because if nobody's bought it yet you can have that one um, but it won't be on the price list because I've only got one so there's no point in me listing it with all my other books so um, yeah so come and have a look and um, see what I've managed to come up with I'm really looking forward to it um, and I'll continue the celebrations of releasing Elemental Ascension hopefully with you this weekend so thanks for joining me for this video. I know it's a quick one. Um, I really appreciate your time. As always, follow me on social media. Check out my website, erachelhardcastle.com and have a lovely week.